Hi, Rose. We don't want to accidentally stage something. And then the RCS. The RCS was on for aborts. We're turning it off. This is the service module RCS. And this is all thrust vector control. Basically, we're safing the whole thing. SCS attitude reference comparison check. Do I have any information about how to do that? Because I don't remember that bit. No, it doesn't say anything. Okay, I'm gonna trust that that's okay. This one is interesting. Optical power. Oh, I guess that's for the sun spawn. Uh, star spawning, maybe? Maybe. Optical mode. Okay, well, that's definitely, uh. Yeah, that's the star spawning stuff. Manual. Hi. Verify optics cover jettison through optics. Ah. Uh, does it look like the optics cover has been jettisoned? I, I don't think it has. Hmm. Oh, no, this one is fine. Okay, whatever that other one was, this one's okay. I forget how to move it. Gosh, if I have to actually march stars, it's gonna be tough. I guess the dust covers are jettisoned. Okay, um, we did that stuff. Hopefully I'm not accidentally denting the cabin with any of this stuff. Oh, no, no, I, I probably didn't want to do that one. No, no, there, okay, there, okay. That, those have more settings than pre- I don't even remember those, so those are new from the last time. There's a boost one, a dump one. I accidentally put it to dump for a sec there, and then normal. Hopefully it didn't dump quickly. I'm worried about this outlet temperature. <laughs> um, should I be? I mean, is that... None of these temperatures are in that range. I know this. I'm gonna assume I'm not gonna die because of that. Monitor glycol primary out and in temp for five minutes. Oh, now that's dropped. Now that's dropped to a normal thing. That's now that's in the normal range. A steam pressure thing just dropped there. <laughs> this is. Uh, I don't remember doing this, and this is much more worrisome than anything else. I mean, life support. Jeez. Well, no wonder is Michael Collins had to have a sense of humor. Okay, maybe it's okay. I don't know. Five minutes. I'm, I'm done. Oh, it does seem to say outlet temperature greater than inlet temperature after five minutes. There's no way, if this is what I'm supposed to be looking at, that the outlet temperature is getting higher than the inlet temperature. <laughs> hmm. It's got what, what? Oh, page down and page up is up down. Right. Oh, there it is. Drink H2O supply on or off. But we have to make sure that the temperature is okay. Let me try bypass. Looks like just a couple of drinks. They're still they're dealing dealing with this. And then uh, Collins later on says, "I guess it's five minutes after you do this before." <laughs> it's the same thing. We're dealing with the same thing. I swear, it never asked me to check the orbit or information in here, and I thought that was the standard procedure. It's it's not getting anywhere. Okay, I, I'm fine. Whatever. Whatever it is, I'm drinking it. <laughs> but yeah, there are things that I thought that I had done before that 
we have not done. Let's just proceed with something else. Form system checklist. Use clear all between each. Okay. So... You're not actually telling me how to do stuff. You're just telling me to do all those lists. Okay. He's busy with the stars. RCS indicator select. That's the indicator. Well, we should probably go through... Let's see, service module. That's the CM pressure and fuel up there now. So we switch between those to record the different pressures and fuels and the CM. After CM RCS activation, we have not activated yet. Okay. Okay, the hydrogen. Well, it's in the green at least, it's right at the bottom. Uh, the oxygen is in the green. Okay. The skin temp is in the green. And it's about the same for all of them. Alright. Check star in 3 4. Roger, we copy, and the angles look good. Okay, it's times 10. So that's fine on the temperatures. Well, it's green on the pressures. Three thousand nine hundred there. I don't see how that pressure is. Well, that's N two at once. Where the heck is the N two? That was Buzz Aldrin giving the report. Mike Collins. Uh, anyway, three thousand nine hundred is fine. The last with the uh, no cup of coffee re report. I guess those uh, these are the injector valve indicators. But I actually don't know which way is closed. So. <laughs> Uh, I guess if it's tilted this way, it's closed, right? Yeah. Got lots of quantity. It's 99.9% .9 quantity, so that's good. Oh, there it is. Jeez. Okay, yes. Point two. Emergency cabin pressure release both. Really? I feel like that's dangerous. Where, okay, where is that panel, first of all? It seems like it's hidden for a good reason. Okay, it is less. It's already less. It says O2 flow indicator, one pound per hour, it wants it at. This is one of those things I'm not too sure is going to work out for us. Well, at least the cabin pressure is not actually going down, so that makes me happy. The checklists are elaborate, but I don't know... See, the problem is, I don't know if they've got it all set up yet, right? I could be waiting for hours for this to move, and it's never going to move because that part isn't done yet, you see. I still swear I had done something with the computer before. This is what I had to do before. 66, enter. Now, well, let me just try to get it to... Uh, Poo time. <laughs> okay, back to poo. I don't, I don't know. Do you think it's doing a good thing here? I don't think it's doing a good thing here. Paraloon. I mean, it's got a paraloon. That's a really quick lunar orbit insertion. Two days, 11 hours? I don't know about that. Was it that late? Well, I, I can't wait an extra orbit. I'll have to go when I have to go. I mean, because we're not the right date anyway. It didn't start me on the right date. Well, at least I know my orbital thing with you. Three days in one hour. Now we're talking. Okay. So. Let me at least try and get that right. 
fine. It seemed to want something like 34. We'll go with this. Okay. Roger. Let me just see what the concatenated translator injection thing is. S4B burn planner to set up before running P15. This checklist is a concatenated and slightly simplified version of the other three checklists. Use this or the other three in sequence to perform a TLI. I see translunar injection on the recording as 2 minutes and 44 sec. Uh, sorry, 2 hours, 44 minutes and 17 seconds. So they're one and a half hours away from theirs. I can pause... I mean, it's not... I don't even know if we have a mission time. I mean, I could pause this one to match up with theirs. Ooh, orbital view. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. What have I done? Okay. That's us. Earth. I don't think it's showing me Earth very well. Mm -hmm. I can't zoom out. No, oh, we're over the US again. Apollo 11, this is Houston. They should be too. They've got all these pads to worry about. Probably we should have aligned to some stars. I think I messed up, probably. Okay. Verb 48 and oh shoot. Speaking of things I could mess up. Set R12. 3112. Three. Oh, uh, I should do plus, I guess. This 31102. I don't know if that's right or not. Okay. Hello, and this is Houston. We're seeing the pitch hot firing, and it looks good. Okay. Roger, we are unable to hear him. Roger. Roger, we copy. Plus and minus, you all work. Have you seen all three axes fired? We've got pitch and yaw, didn't we, you see? That's the firm flight. Uh, we've seen pitch and yaw. We have not seen a roll today. Okay, I'll put in a couple more rolls. Set D-E-T. Event timer. Okay, it looks good, Captain. Okay, well. Zero, zero, one. There we go. Burn time. Five, four, seven. One, zero, four, three, five, six. Three, five, five, seven, five. Roll for set. Three, five, seven. Okay. GT of TB6, which should be, I think, six minutes before the burn. So that's the time. Oh boy, we're we're close though. Let me pause for a sec. Uh, I guess I can't pa pause during this. Okay, proceed. Okay, that's the delta V in feet per second. And this is the time to ignition. Feet per second, feet per second. That's, that's the burn feet per second and then the total speed that we're going to get. And so we're 10 minutes and 17 seconds away from our thing. We're expecting the S2 set light at time to ignition 9 minutes and 38 seconds. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Read back correct. 
I'm gonna be counting up this once we get to nine minutes. Okay, it's got that light on. All right. I hope it'll turn properly. <laughs> I haven't extended the probe. Okay, I've started the clock. Maybe one second off. Okay, but maybe I should pause so that I'm in sync with them, huh? I'm gonna pause myself and then we're going to restart this. We're, we're frozen. We're frozen until they're ready to go. That's one hour and 50 minutes, two hours. Two hours, twenty minutes. Yes, sir. And out. It'll be a minor miracle if I actually manage TLI properly. Maybe I should be smart and save the state at this point. In theory, the burn starts at zero, and then it'll count up, and then it'll show the burn time after that. He's talking about the total velocity. We gotta be at twenty-five thousand five hundred and four. <laughs> Even Aldrin, Aldrin says, "Wake me up at TLI, somebody." <laughs> I mean, it's all the same. It's all the same. I don't know what verb eighty-five is. I sure hope I'm aligned right. We definitely have to have that happen first. Thank you. Roger up. Okay, unpause. Oh, I didn't expect to go over to the side. Okay, all right. Uh, FDAI orbit rate. Oh no. Okay, good. good. I was worried I can't couldn't uh, flick it. Uh, disky blanks. Uh. Average she on. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's at 58.15. Okay. We're counting and we have to wait for that. And then I presumably have to do a lot of things very quickly. <laughs> okay, but we're counting. Well, now it's reoriented the nav ball, but only this one. This one's reoriented, that one isn't. I really hope we're pointed in the right direction. I mean, I guess we are pointed program. We can yeah, tell. Well so, that's okay. Roger, thank you. I don't know how we got pointed program, but... Flight. Flight. I guess that's okay. I don't know why... what orientation that's supposed to be in. Some celestial orientation. That's going to take too long for me to go up to the number that we want to have. Wait, um... That's the test. It seems to count down. I'll just leave it be. I, I can't click that that often. I can't get to 10,000, I'll just let it go negative. We're checking on it. Okay. Well, that's the window I'm going to have to use to dock to the lunar module with. It's gonna be extra fun. I haven't done this, that in years in here. That's where it should be. That's a firm flight. Okay, you wanna do anything about that? What? I, I didn't see the disky blanks. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going like 
All right, we got the blanks. All right, and it continues. Computers at high speed. Redstone has solid with radar. So showing present altitude about 108 nautical miles. EMS mode normal. We expect to be at an altitude of 177 nautical miles. S2 set light on. Check. And then 18 seconds before ignition will go off. I don't know why they have that on the S2 SEP light, but they seem to like that light a lot. I don't know why the S2 SEP light. That's just how it is. They've got so many lights around. But they like that one the best. Now this nav ball is pointed in a completely different direction. So is that one. We are in fact pointed a little bit down, for whatever reason. That doesn't seem optimal. I guess that's sort of the way we pitch down through half the burn. It's not that long a burn. Oh, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. It is that program. S4B Eco light on. Oh, we got an Eco mode now. <laughs> so yeah, you can see it's counting negative now because of uh, the fact that I didn't set it initially. Coming up on twenty seven thousand feet per second. We're at twenty seven thousand three hundred and seventy feet per second. <laughs> Telemetry you see the little flashes? Both solid. Velocity 27,800 feet per second. We're over the wrong continent though. We're two and a half minutes into this burn. Still have another three minutes to go. But yeah, for some reason, you've got pitch down orientation. I hope that's right. And velocity exceeds 29,000 feet per second, building up towards 30,000. Pressures are what we have down here. Launch vehicle tank pressures. Okay. 
Translator injection completed, and then it went poof. What was that? We must have hit the atmosphere. Why was it trying to hit the atmosphere? I think it plunged us into the atmosphere, but I don't know why. I saved the state. <laughs> Uh, but we're gonna have to figure out a different plot then. I don't know what to do. I mean, the plot that we had definitely plunged us into the atmosphere. Fine. Please tell me we don't hit the atmosphere like that. Okay. Execute. Roger. Fine. Gotta check that. That's already set. GDC align for 48, which is never on the right thing. Ah. Okay, that's set. Okay, let me just go proceed on this. That's the delta V, and that's the countdown. Okay, 10 minutes. And then if it's working, S2 light will come on. Quickest setup for TLI ever. <laughs> okay, it is. Take your time docking, Michael Collins. Take your time. <laughs> and go. Okay. Right. And then we wait for the disky blanks. The blanks are apparently constantly late. 
We're still pitched down. It's trying to kill me. It seems like I'm gonna die. Yeah. There's there's no way to point. If you want to get away from Earth. Is there any way I can coax it to the right orientation? I don't know. I need to take manual control somehow. Any sign that we're hitting the atmosphere? I mean, I guess it's not pitched down that bad right now. Right? Maybe it's okay? It was mean of it to actually kill us right when the burn ended. <laughs> I guess its logic only tests for whether you're dead after burn, I don't know. Those clouds look awful close. Uh... Okay, fine. Try to okay. perform an atmospheric entry while attached to a stage. Uh, we'll have to figure this out. We've got a few more days <laughs> to figure this out. So, all right, you guys can continue listening into the real-time audio at Apollo and realtime.org. It has uh, Apollo 11, Apollo 13, Apollo 17, but this is the anniversary for, for Apollo 11, so you can hear that in real time, real time if you want to, and I'll have it in sync. So anyway, with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.